Welcome to Lakeshore RV. I'll be walking you through Montana today up in your front compartment here. Left compartment here, you got your power cord as well as your spray nozzle. To the right, you can also see your battery, battery disconnect. You can also access that battery and battery disconnect from its own compartment here. Right to the right, you're gonna have an inv individual work, uh, working light for at night. Right to the driver's side, you're gonna have your leveling system on for retracting the legs uh, bringing the legs back into the hydraulic system you're gonna hit the button it's gonna glow red now to extend to lower the legs you're gonna make sure that LED is off and then you're gonna choose front left right or rear that's gonna control that jack now over to the left here you're gonna see auto level when your truck is out of the way you can hit that auto level button and all your jacks are gonna level out the unit here you have uh, two 30 pound LP tanks one uh, one of the tanks is on the other side, on the passenger side in the front, as well as the regulator is too. Right to the left here, you're going to have your uh, little easy axis, or a uh, little cheat sheet to the lev leveling system there. You got your pass-through here. Pass-through 30 to 15 amp adapter, 30 to 50 amp adapter, as well as the sewer hose. To the right, you're going to have your inlet. This is going to be outdoor shower as well as your water heater bypass. Winterization, you got to have that winterization off to use your city fixtures. If that winterization's on, you're trying to suck out of this port. Connect your water hose into the city fixtures. Control if you want to fill your tank or if you want to use the city water connection. To the left, you got the My Key TV as well as the battery disconnect. Another battery disconnect. Below, you got your low point drains there. On the driver's side, you're also going to have a door that leads to the back bedroom, the master bedroom, the upstairs, as well as the bathroom. You can also uh, access into your camper on the passenger side. You're going to have your drain valve, your sewer hose connection right past the axles, right below the step, steps. Your poles are going to be in this little compartment here. <clears throat> going to the very rear of your unit you're going to have a storage compartment as well as a 50 amp hookup at the bumper passenger side you're going to have more storage in this back slide out in master bedroom <clears throat> going up uh, uh, up near the axles you're going to have your water heater above you're going to see your awning as well as the awning lights uh, speakers porch light that those are all going to be controlled from inside the unit um right past the main door this main door goes right into your kitchen into the main panel here you're going to have your your furnace exhaust it gets extremely hot so be careful again another access into the pasture this could be from the passenger side here you're going to have your other 30 pound lp tank with the regulator up top here regulator um, we're going to turn this, you're going to point this to the right, you're going to use this tank. Point it to the left, you're going to use the other tank. Going inside your unit, right when you walk inside your unit, right to the right here, this first cabinet is going to be your monitoring panel and control panel. Be a little of everything you can do in here. So on the very left here, you're going to have your heated tanks, just in case you go in colder weather. Right below, you're going to have your your uh, fan control there that's going to control the fan in the kitchen panel here these are going to show you your levels you're going to push and hold it's going to show your levels to the right you're going to see a water pump switch gas for water heater electric for water heater to the left of that you're going to see all these leds that are glowing these are all lights you're going to have four slide out controls here one for each slide to the right, you're gonna have your awning control. We're gonna uh, start from the bedroom and work our way back to the living room. So you could also, this is that door on the driver's side, access into the master bathroom. Right below, you're gonna see your master bedroom. Master bedroom, you're gonna have a thermostat. This thermostat, you're gonna push the bottom bar to acknowledge it. Push it again to turn it on the fan push it again to turn it on to cool 
and then off now the one in the living room will look exact same will operate the exact same but we'll have the heat so up and down is going to control that temp right below it you're going to have your light switch for your uh in the actual ceiling in uh, above each side of the bed you're going to have little individual lights here there these lights you'll see throughout your unit they are a little tap light they got a button in the dead center Inside this compartment right to the left of the bed here, you're going to have your, you are prepped and ready for a washer and dryer. So you'll be able to put a washer and dryer in there. That uh, drawer comes out. Now going right to the right, uh, coming out of your master bedroom, you're going to have your loft area. Your loft area has motion lights going up the stairs as well as a dual sleeping quarters. The light switch for that dual sleeping quarters is going to be right here off to the right. You are going to have the AC AC vent right right above their heads. And they have charging stations at each side of the headboard. So going coming back down the stairs. Right to the right you're going to have your bathroom. Bathroom is pretty self-explanatory. Everybody knows how to use it. You got a GFI breaker right to the left of the sink here individual uh, lights these are all controlled on the light switch right to the right here you're gonna have your max airflow fan that's gonna be the fan above the toilet going inside your kitchen area R right to the right you're gonna have your microwave your microwave is gonna be the best indicator if you have shore power the microwave is on and working you have, you have at, le at least 30 amps so right below here, you're gonna have your stove top. This stove top's gonna be like an at-home stove top. You're just gonna turn it over to the light and push your igniter here. Up and down on the switch here, we'll control the lights. You got knob lights. Below, you got knob lights and oven light. Turn to the middle, turn them both off. Around your sink, you're gonna have your keys as well as here is gonna be an individual light. <clears throat> on the slide out of the kitchen side, you're gonna have individual push button lights here, all three. As well as during transportation, have your chairs like this in the upright and lock uh, one flipped over the other and lock down. Here's gonna be your 12 volt fridge. Commercial. Um, going into your living area, up the steps here, you see your vacuum. As well as in your living area here, you have recliner chairs as well as fold out beds on each side, each slide out here. All these each slide has individual lights on it As well as your entertainment center here. You can see your TV is a storeway TV the controls for that's gonna be right to the right here You'll be able to lift it or raise it right beyond the TV You're gonna see the shade for the big window up here as well as below the TV You're gonna see your audio your audio to the right You're gonna have a zone one and a zone two those are gonna control the speakers right here or outside um, zone 2 is going to be outside, zone 1 is going to be inside, you can have one on, one off, it doesn't matter, it's up to you. Right below you can see your fireplace, just know these, the fireplace, TV, AC, uh, microwave, all your big items will not work without shore power. Your lights, your slide outs will all operate with the actual 12 volt battery. I hope this video helped you guys, thank you for enjoying and choosing Lakeshore. Have a great day.